Welcome to Gusto News once again. Thank you so much for always liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends about the great things that we do right here at Gusto TV and Gusto Entertainment. Thank you so much for everything. You guys are the realest MVPs. Thank you so much. It's a good day to bring the news to you and today on the news we have something for you about Mr. Woodbury, yes, Woodbury and Hush Poppy. There's Toke Makinwa in the mix as well. There's also Tonto DK is in the mix. And finally, we have the OBO, the baddest himself, Davido in the mix. All of that, many, many, many much more will bring to you in the next court. Do not stay off, stay safe. And of course, I will be back with you. Gusto News, Shave for me here. Welcome back guys. So starting the news today with OBO Davido. Now, we know for sure, if you have been online, you will surely, surely know that Davido is set to drop the A Better Time album, even if he has been offline for a while trying to cleanse himself. Now, Davido has been making a lot of plans towards the album, you know, trying to collaborate with Midi, the single with Midi, Lobo Lobo, the remix, you know, Betty Butter by Mayo Kun as well. Yeah, a couple of issues with Choma and uh, his guys, you know, rumors had it then that he chased away his guys and everything, but we, you know, cannot confirm that at the moment. But Davido, some days ago, Michael Blackson talked about the fact that how did Davido get into the US even though the borders are closed? Davido said he's a Nigerian. So Davido right now is in the US, is in LA, right now trying to do a whole lot but as part of the album plans davido we told you has a song with Nicki minaj yes has a song with tiwa sabe with mojiz with and everyone on the album but davido is looking for more international collaborations so that has gotten him into the studio with the legendary rapper nas yes nas was in the studio with davido alongside another legendary singer Hit boy. So Davido, Hit Boy, Nas, massive collaboration. Davido's manager is Asika was the one that actually posted the video. Although there was no sound in the video, but you could see Davido and Nas trying to you know struggle with one or two you know argument in the studio. Hit Boy doing his thing as well. Everyone and fans have really really gone crazy on that one, saying that they cannot wait for that Davido and Nas collaboration. Davido and Hit Boy collaboration as well. The A Better Time album is said to be loaded with a lot of Nigerian, African, and of course international superstars. Maybe that's why Davido is delaying on the album, waiting to get the right features, waiting to get the remaining features. And of course, Davido, because of that album, is currently in the US to record with Nas, with Hit Boy, vibing along, you know, you know, to songs in the studio and everything. Also, we told you Davido is set to appear in Hollywood. Yes. The movie is going to come out very soon. Davido is doing a whole lot right now, even if he's also off social media. But of course, we can still see that he's doing a whole lot for himself. A Better Time album is set to feature Nas and of course, Hit Boy. And we cannot wait for that one. Guys, what do you think the title of that song would be? And how many songs do you think Davido you know, will record with Nas and with Hit Boy? We don't know. Let us know if you think that you know about all of these things because Davido is set to surprise all of us with that album and of course the song with Nas is set to be a fire we cannot wait for that moving on to Mr. Woodbury yes Woodbury is a name that is right now a bit synonymous with internet fraud and all of that yes Woodbury and Hush Puppy were arrested in June by the FBI, the Dubai police in Dubai, yes, and of course they were transferred over to the US to face criminal charges. Now, we told you about the fact that Hush Puppy, at some point while he was facing his, uh, uh, his case in court and everything, was said to be released from prison, and his lawyer said no, he has not been released, he has just been released from that Chicago prison, transferred to California, where he's going to face the remaining 
you know, our case and everything. But yes, there seems to be some sort of maybe good news or not for his other partner, Mr. Woodbury, who has been alleged to have, you know, duped a lot of Chicago-based companies of some millions of dollars, thousands of dollars and everything. Mr. Woodbury at the moment, according to several reports online, has been released without prejudice. Yes. So, what that means is that the US government, according to report, has filed a case through their attorney to say, guys, you can let Mr. Woodbury go because these companies that filed, the complainant that filed the case against him do not really have anything to hold water and everything. Guys, yes, some internet fraud apologists have been hailing, have been saying, oh, this is good news and everything. While so many Nigerians think that this is not good enough, I mean, why would the US government release Mr. Woodbury? But the court also came out to say he has been released without prejudice. Hmm? And because of that, the complainant can still file the case again. If he was released with prejudice, then maybe, you know, there's no case again. But Woodbury is still definitely inside prison right now. And until the complainant files on that case, then they can allow him go. If he does not file, they can allow him go. If he files, then he will still be charged to court over and over again until the complainant exactly maybe stops, you know, filing the case. But for now, guys, all over the internet, Woodbury has been released from U.S. prison. He has been, they've written that they should release him. You get it. So until the complainant come back and say, no, I'm going to refile this case because I'm sure of my case, then he will be charged to court again. But for now, he has been technically released from prison. Hush Puppy is still definitely in detention at the moment because his lawyers have said, guys, they have not released my guy at all. Yes, they only transferred him from the Chicago prison to California and the case is still very much Hush Puppy, Woodbury, Ephematic, 1.9 million people duped over 450 million dollars, 47 laptops, 20 something cars, 13 iPhone, a lot of things were recovered from them in Dubai and every one of them have been transferred from Dubai to the US to the US to actually face criminal charges bordering on intellectual theft, you know, um, transfer, BC and all of those things. It's been very, very messy for Hush Puppy, for Woodbury, Mr. Abbas. Olorunwa, eh? It's been very messy for him, and of course for Lekon, Olale Konkonle as well, who is Woodbury Ephematic. Everything has been all about them for the past couple of weeks right now, and of course, U.S. government are making sure that justice is truly, truly uh, prevailed in this matter. We, we we hope that justice will prevail, and of course, accused and guilty should go to face that uh, punishment, while the innocent should go scot-free. We'll keep you updated on the Hush Puppy Woodbury Ephematic case as it goes. Moving on to Toke Makinwa. Toke Makinwa is someone that Nigerians know for always being very, very vocal on social media. Toke Makinwa talks when it comes to pastor's issues, when it comes to relationship issues, when it comes to marriage issues, when it comes to everything, Toke Makinwa has an idea and has an opinion on every single thing. Now, Toke Makinwa randomly has come again. The friend to Tiwa Sabe, friend to Lola OJ, friend to almost every celebrity, Toke Makinwa has come out to say, guys, marriage should be contractual. Yes. So, Toke Makinwa in her tweet talked about the fact that marriage should have contracts. So, maybe a four year contract, and then at the end of the four years, husband and wife will say, okay, you know what, are we still good with each other? Do we still love living with each other? Oh yeah, let's sign the contract again for another four years. So, Toke Makinwa has said that marriage should be broken into contract and into renewal and everything. There should be contract, there should be renewal and everything. Toke Makinwa got married to Maje Aida some years you know, ago, but some months after everything broke up, of course, just like that, Tiwa Savage. Guys, what do you think? Should marriage go into contract, bit by bit contract, yearly contract, for four years contract, or is it still a lifelong journey? Let us know what you think, because right now, the world that we live in 
Everybody trying to define what marriage should be and what marriage should not be. What do you define marriage to be? Let's know in the comment section. Of course, we'll reply to you. But guys, that is what Toke Makewa, the Undo State born OAP and celebrity blogger, is saying. Finally, Tonto DK has come out to. I mean, just like Toke Makewa, Tonto DK is also someone that is really, really controversial alongside her bestie Bob Risky. Now, Tonto DK has come out to actually lash out at ladies who give motivational advice. She has said, guys, don't give motivational advice to women all the time. Teach them how to make money. Guys, you know, ladies need to make money. Women need to make money as well. Stop saying, find a man, find a man, relationship man and everything all the time. In fact, sometimes teach them how to actually make money for themselves for their family, how they can make their lives better and everything. We don't know who Toto is referring to, but she has come out to make a huge statement to say, guys, do not teach ladies how to respect a man's submission all the time. Sometimes teach them how to make those cheddars and become good. Make them know how to learn how to be independent, actually. So that is what Toto DK is preaching at the moment. We don't know what Bobrisky thinks about that, but of course, when Bobrisky replies, we will be here to give you everything that Bobrisky is saying. Guys, today, new music came out. Yes, a lot of new music. There's Cranium and DJ Spinner. There's Tiwa Stabby with two remixes, two Dangerous Love, Fireboy DML as Ailey. Yes, Sele Bobo has an, you know, an, an EP out called Bobo. Of Africa, there's a whole lot. There's Demi V is out with a new single as well. People are dropping, guys are dropping. There's no stopping. Olamide is dropping very, very soon as well. Whiskey just dropped, the video is gonna drop. Bonaboy, Boy, wonderful, is still buzzing, guys. A lot of new music for you to consume and to enjoy. We say enjoy all of them. Go to streaming platform to download everything. Thank you so, so much for always being there for us all the time. We appreciate every one of you. Please keep liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends about Ghost Talk TV. We truly appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much once again. Be safe, be responsible, protect yourself from every COVID-19 related stuff. Eh? We'll see you on the next one, guys. God bless you.